All right, so as you can see, I got the old, old dirty notch hat back on, which means we're back in the garage and back at the trailer project. Um, last video, we kind of cleaned everything up. This video, we're gonna try and tackle the actual axle swap. So, um, it's gonna be, the, I think, the most difficult part of this project, hopefully, and we can knock it out. Um, I'm trying to figure out right now it's not a big deal to get this thing cut out, uh, the axle itself down here. Um, I'm going to have to chop or get these points here um, taken out, these bolts for the leaf springs. Uh, more than likely, I'll just chop these here. Um, that's our connection point. We're also connected with the shocks themselves and then also on the brake system, um, we have this cable here that I have to chop out. That's not really what I'm worried about. It's after all that, um, I have this thing set up on jack stands, um, on cinder blocks, as you can see. So it's currently supported off the frame, not the uh, not the tires. But once we get this thing chopped out, the question is, how do we get it rolled out of here? I don't know, lift <laughs> to get the frame lift up. So. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to have to do this like a ratchet system. I don't think the, the this whole thing only weighs like 1,400 pounds. So without the axle, I'm hoping it's, you know, less than, it's about 800 pounds. I don't know. Half of that is just the axle I'm thinking. So if I can get a kind of a ratchet system off of these anchor points and the joists, off of a couple of them to spread the load over three different joists, should be, from what I calculated out looking up on my uh, expert internet Googling searching, um, that, what I have rigged up here, should be capable of holding well over 1,500 pounds of weight. Hopefully that's the case. Um, so I think in ratchet straps and then probably help with the coal if I can lift it up just myself. Um, having ratchet straps as a backup and then have her roll the thing out. We'll see. That's the question. <laughs> All right, I've been talking too much. We'll see if we can get some stuff actually taken care of here today. Destination, I'll take you anywhere All the doors we've opened And all the books we've closed Words just come together Story that we never told So if I shake in for my own You said just keep holding on If you're about to break Oh, I always See how much this thing weighs. Not bad. Right, to strap this thing up, and then uh, I can probably just lift it and have her cinch the ratchet straps down, then we can roll this whole thing out and then set it back on the jack stands and uh, proceed. Dancing in the moonlight, the world just stop and stares. We got no destination, I'll take you anywhere. All the doors we've opened and all the books we've closed. Words just come together, story that we never told. So if I shake in for my own, you said just How about that shit? 
You have no idea how happy that makes me. I was kind of sweating and worrying and wondering how the heck I was going to do that. And my suspicions were correct in that this thing doesn't weigh a lot, this whole thing, this whole club. I mean, I can pick it up myself on one side, so it's on the road. For both trash pickup, hopefully they actually pick it up, but uh, on to the next installation. So the next step here um, is getting these. So we have three holes here on these these axles themselves, and they have to get drilled. We need three holes then to uh, be drilled in this frame that then mounts it. But we have to figure out exactly where the center of the tire is going to be in relation to everything to kind of figure out where those holes are going to lie. So and I have the two by three. Ugh. Oh, steel tube, it's quarter inch thick, quarter inch thick, uh, two by three, which is what they uh, recommend as a minimum for the bracing, lateral bracing across that will span in the um, actual axle right through here. Some little tweaking to be done yet, so I have to do that. I'm waiting, not doing it tonight. I have a uh, beer in mind. I really don't want to be thinking about stuff and trying to do some final tweaking at the end of the day. I got the rest of the weekend to knock this thing out, so that's what I'm going to do. We're going to put this off till tomorrow, knock this out, and see how far uh, further we go from that. So, uh, all right, let's see you tomorrow. All right, day two. A less dirty face. I was looking back at the uh, video and uh, did not realize how dirty my face was. I feel like I, I didn't really do a lot to get my face that dirty. I was like the uh, girl in the kitchen throwing flour on herself or something. But needless to say, we're back at it. Hopefully, I will get a little less dirty today. It's just going to be a whole lot of measuring, I think, and adjusting. Get your um, level or square piece to the face here and then uh, measure your points off the frame and also actually measure from this face to that face. So you have a 30 inch um, piece and then 15 inches on the front, 15 inches on the back and then you're going to uh, measure from your front, your front of one side to the front of the other side and uh, it has to be within a sixteenth of an inch on both the front and back so that you make sure that your your uh, tires are not uh, can't towed in or towed out to get them uh, perfectly straight so you're not uh, burning tires up down the road um, so there's that and then we'll check our um, camber angle off the axle here itself we have some shims to uh, adjust for that and make sure that you're uh, both going straight down the road and you're not um, uh, your camber's not off so just some basic alignment shit that uh, I've never done before, but we're gonna figure it out here today. So, here we go. You told me I'm your anchor. I told you you're my pole. Through the wind and fire, we try to hold on. We build this ship together, searching for a home. Despite the storm that hit us, we're still on board. Dancing in the moonlight, the world just stop and stares. We got no destination, I'll take you anywhere. All the doors we've opened, and all the books we've closed. Words just come together, story that we never told. So far is shaking for my own. You said just keep. Okay, here I am again, squatted next to this axle, and we ran into an issue. So, I'm trying to put this freaking 
brake assembly on this axle here, this one, and if you can see, there's no way to access the bolt holes that are behind this freaking arm here. here. Now look at the other side. This is supposed to be the exact same. This is the right side, and this is the left side. Somehow, e-trailer, again, which is a piece of crap establishment, has sent me not only missing the wire assembly for the brake system, but this, the brakes themselves are two different components. Like they're not, they're not the same. And it all came in this wonderful giant box. See this thing? This is how it came. Literally like that. Like there is nothing, there is a, a bunch of paper um, packaging, but essentially they're garbage. <laughs> Do not work with these people. Well, a week later we are back again. Trial number two on the brakes. So as you remember, it's been a second for you and it's been a week for me. But these were the uh, bad brakes. Um, I'll say bad brakes, but the wrong brakes. And again, old e-trailer, um, pretty much pieces of crap. Uh, I would never do business with them again. And uh, yeah, pretty much long story short, they everything they sent me has been crap um, as far as um, these brakes go. I tried to contact them to let them know, yes, it's been over 60 days since I purchased them. But uh, they pretty much said, go fly a kite, and we can't help you. And so I went out and got new brakes, uh, Dexter um, electronic brake system to replace these with. Um, and yeah, so just anybody out there, I would say uh, do not do business with each other. They're, to me, they're like the, the Walmart of um, anything to do with trailers. Yes, they have a bunch of stuff there. It's pretty easy to access and get to. However, their customer service and lack of support, sorry man, not gonna support them. Pretty simple, um, got that knocked out. We're uh, all bolted up here. If you can see on the back side, I'm not sure how dark this is, but here's your holder for the um, handbrake. Here's the actual lever right here. Um, so you have a, like a clevis hanger type clevis lever that uh, attaches this point. And then your hold off, just like a brake system, your like you would see on your bike or something like that. Um, then it'll run around to. I'm not sure if I use. This is the old system, old old wire system, but uh, I may use the actual points here to run the run the wire all the way up front to where the handbrake is going to be. So step one complete. Next step is going to be to uh, get the actual um, drum brakes on there and the hub assembly. You said just keep moving on if you're about to break. Oh, I'll always be your captain. For all our failures, we have grown. You said just keep moving on if you're about to break. Oh, I'll always be your captain. Finally, tires on the trailer. Finally, after a long time, year, over a year, we again have a rolling uh, trailer here. So, um, axles out, new brakes are installed. Uh, they're not tuned up yet. Um, I'll do that later, but at least we have a rolling um, set of uh, wheels here. So, uh, finally, have established our right height for the trailer, nice and level. Looked at the uh, my hitch, everything's gonna be good. I got the lock and roll system figured out, um, and we're, we're within 
I mean half an inch. So with uh, any kind of settling and weight in the trailer and truck, we should be perfect as far as rolling down the road um, level. So yeah, that's it for this one. Finally, I'm so freaking pumped about this, but uh, I'm thinking next episode, we'll probably tackle some structural things or maybe fab up the, uh, the uh, cab here. So we gotta get all that taken care of before we start prettying this up, painting it and whatnot. The uh, tailgates are new front tailgates gotta get uh, installed fabricated installed figured out um but yeah that's it hopefully you like this like what you're seeing if so let me know hit me in the comments below if you have a an idea that you see i haven't seen you know that you think would be a cool idea for this let me know um but yeah thanks for watching